Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we look at a group of women who were dubbed the Charlie's Angels Gang and had ran a £1.35 million delivery style heart shaped pill delivery ring and had a candy shop list for their customers to pick from. The glamorous gang of women who ran the £1.3 million pill delivery service have now been jailed for almost 40 years. Judge Gregory Perrins told the court that the criminal organisation was professional and highly organised and they had supplied a vast array of controlled drugs at a vast scale. Larissa Nascimento dos Rios, who was 24, had acted as a bookkeeper for the organisation, which was ran by Vanessa Ananias, who was 29, Nayara Ribeiro, who was 33, and Andresa Santos, who was 24, and Nayin Fernandez Silva, who was 24, rode mopeds to make deliveries. Southwark Crown Court heard how the gang had operated the service between 1pm and 10pm between Monday and Saturday. Their illegal venture was so successful that they were able to take Sunday off. The gang had saved up and brought their own press to make heart-shaped pills, with customers being offered a candy shop list with up to 90 different drugs available on the list. The list included Class A and Class B, as well as prescription pills. Diego de Lima, who was 30, was the only man involved in the whole operation and had hired out the glamorous women to help him. However, Mr. De Lima was responsible for selling large quantities to other dealers. Various addresses were raided during the police operation, including a storage unit in northwest London and two distribution centres in Cromwell Road and South Kensington. During the raid, the police seized almost four kilograms of cocaine two kilograms of MDMA tablets and almost five kilograms of cannabis. The police valued the drugs at somewhere between 1 million and 1.35 million. Southwark Crown Court heard that 54,000 pounds in cash, clothes belonging to the women and three firearms as well as ammunition were seized from the facilities. A computer which was seized as evidence demonstrated that the retail side of the business made around £90,000 profit per month. Encrypted WhatsApp messages revealed that most deals were between 10 and 15 kilograms of cocaine. But on one occasion, someone purchased 50 kilograms of cocaine. Upon further analysis, more evidence of criminality was uncovered, including selling fake IDs, moving people out the country by helicopter, and bribing a prison officer. After hearing all the evidence, Judge Perrings jailed the gang for more than 37 and a half years. Miss Ananias of Bren, Miss Robiero of West Acton, Miss Santos of Southwark, and Miss Fernandez Silva of Bren all admitted three counts of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. The group also pleaded guilty to four counts of conspiracy to supply Class B and one count of conspiracy to acquire criminal property between April 2020 and February 2021. Mr. De Lima of South Kensington also admitted one count of driving whilst disqualified and was sentenced to 18 years imprisonment. Miss Ananias was given six years in jail, whilst Miss Robiero, Miss Santos, and Miss Fernanda Silva were each handed four and a half year sentences. Miss Dos Ries of Prince Regent Lane, Canning Town, admitted three counts of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs, four counts of conspiracy to supply Class B, and one count of conspiracy to acquire criminal property. She was jailed for two years and three months. Judge Perrins also ordered the forfeiture and destruction of the drugs and paraphernalia. Thank you for joining us today. What are your opinions on the crimes committed by the gang? Do you believe the sentences were too harsh or not harsh enough? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and share. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more Street Crime UK content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you can join us on the next video. Thank you for joining us and until next time, stay safe.